great Scott, where am I? And why am I in this handbasket? Wait a minute. Oh, that's the problem. I, t I don't want to hear myself echoing inside of it. so much latency. Oh my god. I thought I had that all taken care of. Oh, that's right. I'm using the profile that is, God, that's really screwing with my equilibrium. <clears throat> using the profile that it's specialized for streaming. I mean, bear with me. I'm just going to take this. You can see. We, here. And now you can see. Let me get this out of the picture. That looks silly. Looks like I have dreadlocks made out of wires. And that's silly. Okay. Almost done. Listen. No. Oh, that is so much better. Thank God. Hey, everybody. It's me, JJ. The owner and stuff of a record company. I don't care. <clears throat> I'm... I'm having a rough day, and I'm going to chill out and play some pinball. And I'm thinking that I might even, I don't know, do something grand, something special. Maybe throw down a high score or something like that, you know? Might as well be, like, taping it, right? <clears throat> no, I'm not streaming it. I'm just trying to relax here, all right, folks? No big deal. No big deal. Is that understood? It's no big deal. Okay. Just making sure you know that. No big deal. Ah. Much better. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Nick, Nick. Whoa! Lame. Mm. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. 
No! Damn it! Fuck! Oh, that was weird. Expected it to do some bumper stuff up there. Bumper stuff. Oh. Whoa. Uh. Yeah. Mm. Whoa! Mm. Yeah! I know. Hmm. Snick, snick. Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! No! Mm. Motherfucker! No! Ah. Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Oh, good. Could use one of those. Oh, I missed. Ah! Ah! Okay, focus. We're going up the ramp. Up the ramp. Ah! Oh god. Ah! Okay, here we go. Ah! Oh, I was a little late. Not the best timing. Ah! Oh god. Ah! Ah! Oh no. God damn it! At least I got the extra ball. One shot away from getting the freaking sentinel mode. Ugh. Snick snick! Snick, snick. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Dang, I think I still have that ball save, you know, from the the snicked. Yeah, I do.
All right. Let's get to this. Hmm. 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 Ah. 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 Whoa. Heard them say what goes up must come down, but like, seriously? <laughs> Got an extra ball though, right? Shoot again. Hmm, almost. And oh, I missed. How embarrassing! Ah, I missed again. That's not like me. Ah, there you go. Oh! Woo! Yeah! Oh God! Ah! Woo! Oh! Ah! 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 My nerves can't handle this. Ah! 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 Okay, take my time. Make a nice slow shot. Whoa. Ah! Whoa. Come on! Give me your best shot! Fucking robot! Tin man! Ah! Come on, we got this. Ah! My hand hurts. Ah. Here we go. I know. Ah! 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 No! Ah! Fuck! Not again. I was really hoping to make some points. Like 5 million, 25 million, like 100 million, 200 million, 300 million, a billion. Something like that. Oh well. The game is young. It still happen. Ah! Whoa! Mm. There you go. Yeah! Ah! 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 Ah!
Hiya! Fuck! Okay, okay, ball save. Whoa! 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 Ah! That was exciting. No. Ah, well. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ah. Uh. Oh. No. Damn straight. See how it works when the pressure's off? That's when I actually do good, because, like, when I got those first two uh, chances to fight with the Sentinel, I had, like, gotten the, the high score thing. I'd set the score at, like, 5 million, which is a lot of pressure to get it right. And now that I had no pressure, because, like, the t timer ran out, and it was only, like, 250,000 points a hit, I was like, yeah, yeah, this is over in no time. So... Whoa. Yeah. Oh, well. All over. Wonder how many points we just made. Like 60 million or something. Not bad. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! All right. Ooh. Ah. Oh! Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! I know. In case you didn't notice, I like to make ramp shots in that Colossus mode because when you orbit the table, it's very dangerous, the fastball special. You can wind up going down the drain just like in the blink of an eye, you know? It's like, ah. How about that? I'll never be like you, Sabretooth. I shower. <laughs> he smells bad, I'll bet. You just look at him and... Bleh. Stinky animal. Mm. <laughs> oh. There
Oops. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Oh. Ah. Ah. Take that. Mm. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Damn. That was the same shot that I made last time. There. No. Ah! Yes. Oh. Here goes nothing. No. No. Shut up. Insult to fucking injury. All right, I'm over it. Dun 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 dun. And here we go. Out, Charlie Horse. Ah, gosh. Ah, ah, fuck. All right, enough of this. Ah, ah, ah. shit. Hmm. Ah. Uh, all right. All right. Look. 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 Okay. No. 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 Look. 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 You gotta. You don't under. No. 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 You don't understand. Okay. I just gotta chill out for a second. All right. Oh. Huh. That was a pretty good score, right? It's almost a buck fifty. What a buck forty eight million. <sighs> I remember when I first started playing that table. God, that was like fifteen years ago or something, I think. Like mm, beginning of the twenty teens, end of the twenty aughts, roughly. Might have been the twenty teens. I forget. But yeah, when I first started playing that table, I never would have dreamed of getting a hundred and 50 million, let alone that rapidly. I would say easily, but that's not easy. That takes skill, mad skill. Like, you know, I've talked about it before, so I make like over 90% of my shots. Like, when you hear me go, oops, that's like when the ball didn't go where I thought it was going to go. And why does that matter? It's just a video game, JJ. Why do you talk about it so seriously? 
<sighs> well, I guess I take my fun seriously. No, but I took a trigonometry class in college. Uh, I believe it was Math 182 was the course number. And uh, I found some notes the other day. Um, you know, I've been working on a lot of server stuff. I'm trying to take over the internet. It's going to be fantastic. But, um... Uh... You know what? It's not cold enough in here. It does not feel like a server room. I gotta fix that. Anyhow, um, yeah, so trigonometry is a fantastic way to uh, study the art of angles. I believe. That is my humble opinion. But when you learn about things like, uh, you know... There's like a, what, 180 degrees in a triangle? Because there's like three, three intersection, intersecting points that form the tri, the, the three-sided triangle. And like, you know, depending on like, if it's like one of those, right? That would be um, a right angle because of the way my thumb and my index finger are at a 90 degree they call those right angles, as opposed to one where, like, it could be slightly off, you know? That's a little bit more of an obtuse triangle, because see how it's, like, wide? When the points are wide like that, that is obtuse, but when the point is like that, it becomes acute, kind of like my chronic pain. Yeah, yeah, we get it, Jay, we get it. What's the point in making a point if you don't make your point? Mm -hmm. Anyway. And so what? So what about obtuse and acute? Well, my friends, there's a lot of games that require you know the angles. Games like uh, pinball, billiards, professional wrestling, <laughs> Kayfabe, kayfabe, Jay. Keep face, Jay, keep face. Well, of course I'm going to keep face. I am a baby face. Do I look like a heel to you? Kayfabe, JJ, kayfabe! Yeah, man. Those angles. Those acute ones, those obtuse ones, and those right ones. <sighs> They're basically... Uh... You know, the things that you can learn about them are basically laws. And I don't mean like the justice system. I mean like laws of the universe. Universal truths. Uh-huh. And I'm not just trying to sound smart. I really do love this shit. I think I will go ahead and uh, be a professor for one quick little lesson in trigonometry because I I think you guys will enjoy this. Mm hmm How should I do this? That's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It'll be fun. I like this idea already. I'm just trying to relax because I woke up a little bit ago and uh, <laughs> I wasn't feeling too good. I was on the edge of a freak out. On the ver like I had a stuffy nose. I kept blowing it and I kept sneezing. So I took like a, a Zyrtec allergy generic pill or whatever. But like my legs were twitching and my thighs were getting these bad muscle cramps. So it's like, oh, I must be dope sick. And that's why I'm having the cold and flu symptoms with the runny nose and the sneezing. So yeah, took my pain med and uh, quickly got control over my um, <clears throat> lousy dope sick feelings. But, um, you know, still there was uh, some random, random crap, you know, that I'm not really all that accustomed to. Kind of like, I don't know if you can still see it. Um, but like... 
Uh, um, I think maybe you can. Oh, yeah, it's still there. I don't know why, but like the side of my head. Hold on, I'm going to flip the screen backwards because I'm not doing very well with this. I think we all know why. Because I am not a backwards person. Okay. No, I am not. Not a backwards person. Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay, let me do this instead, okay? Meow. Okay. Now then. Where was I? Okay, yes. Not a backwards person. Okay. And so what? Well, I'm just trying to tell you why I've, like... You see how red it is right there? And how, like, how not red it is over there? Uh, like, red and inflamed, like sunburnt or something. Or maybe, like, maybe I fell asleep on a pile of tobacco and irritated the fuck out of my face. I don't know. But, like, that's some really... Sorry about that. I try not to jiggle the camera too much. Because I, I don't want to make anybody seasick out there. Ocean sickness is a real thing. And a lot of people take anti-emetics. That's what they call them. It's like a stomach pill. To help uh, get your inner ear settled down. So yeah, whatever that is. I don't know. But that was a random weird thing that was... Here, on top of the, the two other things I was just talking about. And uh, I was starting to get a headache, too. Took an Excedrin. That helped. And uh, there was one other thing. Oh, yeah, I was hungry. So I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And uh, that settled things down. Um, but no, that wasn't. I don't consider hunger to be pain. I consider that to be normal. Like... Who really eats unless their stomach is growling, right? Don't answer that. That was a rhetorical question. I think you know the answer, though. It rhymes with big. No, not the N-word. Get your head out of the gutter. God, what is wrong with people these days? <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I should say, what is right with people these days? Does that make more sense? I don't know. Okay, then. Um, I mean, I thought maybe I was getting a backache or something, but I, you know, had to fix the dope sickness, so... And to add the, the headache medicine on top of that, like, I'm relatively pain-free at the moment. It's pretty sweet. My hands were starting to cramp a little bit during the pinball. I hate it when that happens, but not warmed up, you know? My hands take a lot of time to warm up, like to play guitar, to play video games. I, I think I've told you guys before, I've had like seven hand surgeries. So like, and I'm grateful to have had them because I'd be in really, really, really bad shape right now if I hadn't had those procedures, okay? So don't get me wrong. But I think most anybody that's had seven hand procedures, seven operations, they, they're going to take a little bit of time to warm up, to do anything with their hands, you know? So, and then you're going to say, excuses, excuses, JJ. They're just like your butthole. Everybody has had it. Excuse me? What did you just say to me? Okay, R regardless of that inaccuracy that was just stated by that random person over there in, at that IP address that's probably a proxy or a VPN, what I'm trying to get at is just, uh, yeah, warming up entails usually a lot of pain, you know, trying to loosen up the ligaments and the muscles, the soft tissue muscles, etc., you know, getting limber, it's not easy, but 
when you got hands like these, it's worth the time. All right? Yeah, you got to warm up. And luckily for me, my father, who was a guitar player, uh, taught me a, a nice little warm-up technique. You know, for the hand. Uh, you might have seen me do this on the uh, the show before, or maybe not. Um, no, that's not the warm-up technique. Me getting my whiteboard clean. Because we're still doing the trigonometry, okay? But, um... I'm telling you, my old man, he taught me a nice technique. And for those of you that haven't seen me do this one before, I'll just go ahead, because I need to warm up anyways, okay? So. Oh, God, I can really feel that, like, oh. right, in, right where Christ supposedly was supposed to get a nail ah, through his hand. Ah, uh, the stigmata! 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 Fuck me! Fuck you! Fuck everyone! Fuck everyone! The stigmata! The stigmata! The stigmata! Ah! Sorry, where was I going with that? Stigmata! No, Jay, calm down. Right. Oh, getting a charley horse in my bicep now. Fuck! And no, this isn't because I'm old. Probably more because I'm a nerd, okay? Always, uh, I've always needed uh, a little bit of help um, with the more physical aspects of being a human. Okay. And of course, when I say I've, I've needed help, what that means is uh, uh, I usually didn't get any. So, just kind of like feebly getting through IRL, looking like looking like an old man, even when I'm in my teens and twenties. It, it makes the 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 midlife crisis thing, even though that's still a few years away, makes that whole thing uh, I don't know a little bit easier to go through. Because like I've already been through that feeling, that sudden realization that you have the body of someone old an old human right not not really that big of a deal i mean as long as like your brain works and the stuff in your underpants works and like your lungs no those don't work for you as long as you can get medication to help you with uh the body parts that don't work like a young person then uh then you're okay okay the bottom line and as long as you do your stretching exercises you know get get limbered up nice and loose oh that's that's not even half as painful as it was a minute ago oh that's so much better and my bicep is still like uh kind of charley horsing cramping so might want to do a stretch. hey look at that it's another one of them right angles neat All right, I'm gonna try to be a little speedier with the right, okay? Because I know you've got better things to do than to learn excellent hand stretching exercises and techniques from yours truly, JJ Styles, AKA Zot the Avenger. The guy who's had a whole lot of hand surgeries. Okay. Let's do this real quick as well. I know, I know. What <laughs> you're saying, damn Jay, you keep saying real quick, but so far it's like getting close to 15 minutes now that you've been talking about this, isn't it? Look, I don't know. I don't have a counter running. Wait. Yeah, I do. Looks like we've been recording for 40 minutes. I guess half of that was pinball or something. Man. Don't stress me out with your mundane time clock bullshit, okay? I operate and live on a different spectrum, a different level, a different realm, okay? And it doesn't really give a fuck about your clock, okay? So get a life. Either watch or don't, okay? Don't order me around like I'm some kind of a sentinel robot. Because I sure as fuck ain't a fucking robot, okay? 
I'm about as human as it gets. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Um, I think it would be fun, and humans do like to concern themselves with topics such as what's fun and what's not fun. I think it would be fun, because I, I always think that the chroma key uh, technology, the weatherman uh, camera technology stuff, I always think that's pretty fun. That's pretty neat. That's pretty nifty. You know, the way you can, like, I don't care if it's, like, special effects in a movie. Like, you know, hey, Garth, we're in Delaware. Oh, wow, Wayne. We're in Delaware. Yeah, Delaware. Wow, okay. Yeah, I don't care if it's special effects like that or to help tell the news, much like a weatherman or weather girl or weather boy or weather lady or weather tranny or uh, weather uh, eunuch or uh, weather baby? No. Well, I guess they could make like a computer generated weather baby, right? Uh, All right, it's Daniel Wayne today. I really like it when it wanes. It makes me wet my diaper. Hey. Now back to you, anchor people. Oh, isn't he adorable? God, I just want to have one of those of my very own. I know what you mean. What are you doing right now? Oh, I don't know. What are you doing? I think I'm, we're going to make a baby, it sounds like. Ooh, well, put up or shut up, anchor man. Okay, anchor lady. Hmm. <laughs> you know, it is Friday. What does that mean? I don't know. It means I'm a lonely guy. <laughs> Hence why I'm not content just talking to myself. I have to make a recording and talk to you as well. What do you think you're doing with that, Jay? Well, I don't know. I I I was digging around in my uh in my stash, my cachet piles in some kind of a bin somewhere. Usually what I do when I got to clean this place up, you know, get a get a Rubbermaid bin, get a trash bag, get a lo foot locker, I don't know, something, and like uh, start stashing everything because otherwise I'm not going to get the place clean. I got to get it empty first. So, um, and yeah, a lot of times I, I don't make it back to that bin for quite some time. And I'm like scratching my head going, what happened to this and that and the other? Oh, I miss that stuff. I rely on that stuff. Where is that stuff? Oh, here's that stuff. I stashed it. Like as if I'm some kind of Fallout character using like a mailbox or like a, a freaking, whatchamacallit. I don't know. You catch my drift, I'm sure. Ugh. And yeah, found my little tripod thinger majigger. So, uh... Let's have some fun with that, shall we? I've missed my little tripod. They're a lot of fun. That's my personal uh, take on the matter. Oh, good. I have, the, I think I have the volume turned down in OBS on my desktop. Um, so what that means is I don't think you're hearing all those little dings, those little bells that Windows. 10, Microsoft's Windows 10, likes to make a lot of bells and beeps and, okay, we don't want that. Let's go like this. Okay, that's what we want. Okay. Whoa, that's trippy. There's like two. Count them. Count them. Two. For the price of one. <laughs> All right, this will be neat. So, in today's trigonometry lesson, all right, class, we will be talking about angles. What are angles? Angles are fantastic, okay? Angles can help you figure out and determine things that otherwise would be great big question marks in your life. 
that you just don't even know about. Okay. All right. Maybe I should use my other shoulder. All right. Because this cable, this USB cable isn't that long. It's not that long. Okay. That's what she said. Oh, who's she and who is she talking? Or what is she talking about? Because I got another lesson for you after this one. If you want to stick around, if you want to make that joke. I got a lesson for you. All right. Where was I, aside from getting fired for sexual harassment and inappropriate uh, professor uh, lessons? <laughs> oh, right. Before I get fired and uh, have to collect my severance, my pension, uh, what have you, I don't know. I'm going to finish this damn trigonometry lesson because uh, that's what I was born to do. This math crap. All right, students. So uh, before before they fire me, we shall do this math lesson. If it's the last thing I do, okay. <laughs> yep, that's right, class. I do take it pretty seriously. This 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 junk. Okay, I think this might work. I'm hoping. Kind of like a parrot on my shoulder now. Um, okay. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Okay, that's pretty good. But what I would really like to do is a nice little trick in the OBS. I believe if I select this right and then i go to uh transform which is uh um under the you should say uh edit edit transform um rotate 90 degrees Rotate 180. Um, yeah, okay, let's rotate it 90. Why not? Oh, crap. I didn't see that coming. Okay. Give it another 90. Another 90. Transform. Okay. Almost. Okay, found it. That is perfect. Is that the way it's supposed to be? I don't know. Whatever. All right, class. Hi, I'm I'm Professor JJ, and uh, t in today's lesson, we will discuss um. Oh man, the dry erase marker is all dried up. Um. Oh. oh. Charlie horse, Charlie horse, ah, 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 ah. Mm. Angles, not angels, no angles. All right, class. Now, some of you might be wondering. 
what are angles? And that's uh, a good question to ask because I can answer that one. And uh, that's kind of, uh, yeah, that's kind of what trigonometry is about. Kind of what I'm talking about here. Okay, yeah. Hey, wait a minute. The chroma key's not working right. Let's see. So I go like this. Huh? Hold on. What the fuck? Oh, I know. The window, it should be bigger. But. Silly me. That's right. As I was saying, we're talking about angles, not angels. All right. I don't like the way that light is reflecting off the board. It makes it more difficult to see. All right. If you're going to learn anything, you kind of need to see the board, right? Seriously, class, if you can't see your board at school, either get some glasses. All right, or sit closer to the front of the class. Okay. Anyways, yes, angles, not angels. I keep saying that because I think it's funny and clever. Because I think people would rather talk about angels rather than angles. But what do I know? Maybe some people... I'm not going to be mean. I was going to say something like, maybe there are some people with brains on this planet. <laughs> but no, you can still have brains and talk about angels. It doesn't inherently mean that you're a superstitious fool. Like, if if we were to talk about Archangel from the X-Men right now, that would be cool. And he's technically, he's like, technically an angel. So there you go. Got the wings. And when he, you know, turns all mechanical, mecha, you know, he's more of a dark avenging angel if you will, at that point. Still technically an angel. But anyways, back to the angles. It is oftentimes theorized that useful, functional things can be determined and done using basic trigonometric functions in order to solve for the unknowns, the x, y, and z variables of life. All right, class. What, pray tell, might I be speaking of? One of my favorite hypothetical situations to help demonstrate the usefulness of uh, trigonometry and trigonometric functions, right? <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm either just like being self-conscious or there's an actual problem. Either way, let's, let's get that taken care of right now. Okay, class? Seriously. I think this camera could be in focus better. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, in order to get in focus, sometimes you have to go very out of focus. Why is that? Well, because you have nothing to compare to. All right? Once you go really out of focus, and then really out of focus again, only then can you maybe find that sweet spot in the middle, all right? Not off on the far counterclockwise, or not off on the far clockwise, no, somewhere nice and appropriately in the middle, or something like that. I'm sorry. This is probably why I'm not an instructor, because in order to do anything, it takes me forever. 
but I'm okay with that as long as you're okay with that. So back to the trigonometric functions. Um, one of my favorite hypotheticals, if you will, is uh, one in which case uh, y you're outside and you're uh, looking at your uh, school's uh, flagpole. You know, it's like out in the front by the parking lot, you know, by the, by the sign that says the school's name, you know. Uh, how many years it's been around, or its founding year, etc. And then, of course, there's a flagpole, you know, because uh, why wouldn't there be? It's a school, right? Right? So, um, you're, you're lo outside looking at the flagpole with your uh, fellow instructors, you know, or what have you. And, uh, you know, your instructors are noticing your high level of focus, okay, regarding the flagpole and such, and they start asking, uh, is something wrong? Why are you so focused on that godforsaken flagpole? Like, you look like it's bothering you, JJ. What, pray tell, could be on your mind? And that's the part where I go, you know, that flagpole, it just looks nasty. It's, like, old and rusty, and, like, not only that, it's kind of, like, short. Like, you can't even see it from that far away. You know, that flagpole is totally, like, not only is it weak, it's practically useless. Because if people can't see our, our flag, if they can't see the state flag, the nation's flag, and our own personal little school, you know, spirit, you know, flag that all of our special students made together for that one project, you know, with all the multiracial, um, multi-sexual and uh, dis uh, disadvantaged, uh, uh, economically disadvantaged, physically disadvantaged, that all of our wonderful students made together and that represents the school so perfectly, it's like you can't even see that flag because it's like three down. First you got the nation, then you got the state, then you got our special flag. Can't even see it. Basically, this flagpole is a piece of shit. It's useless. We need a new one. And I'm going to stick up for the students. I'm going to demand we get a new flagpole. One that is high enough in the air, you can actually see all the good work that our students did. And that's when they, uh, all, the, all the teachers are like, Oh, 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 I get it. Oh, you're one of those teachers. Fuck, you, you actually care. I can't believe it, JJ. All right. Well, okay, if we were to get a new flagpole, what would you, what what where do we begin like what's the criteria because you know we're gonna have to put this through like probably well, i don't know if we're gonna have to vote on it or if we can just send it like what straight to the superintendent i don't know we'll probably put it through to the board of directors right damn it i'm not gonna use this tripod this is a special kind of tripod this crazy thing with the with all these little crazy legs you know, these, uh, these, this is what they call a gooseneck in the industry. These kind of like, it, a lot of times you see them on, on microphone stands. And now, all of a sudden, I have like a floor de leaf, right? Because it's like, well, kind of. Because, you know, it's a, it's a gooseneck, right? Um, but no, this isn't working for me. Sorry. This is why I like to practice, because I could have determined this in practice. Probably saved us a lot of time and trouble. That's okay. You know, this is kind of an experiment, because, you know, normally I, I, I use this other uh, uh, tripod that it's just um, kind of, kind of uh, bulky. It's a little bit obtuse. I don't know. It's, uh, it's a little bit much. This tripod. I'm trying to use uh, now that I found these these great little uh, contraptions that I, I that have been missing from my life for a while now. Okay. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey. Ninety degrees. See, it's not. I did that ninety degree trick. Okay. But yeah, these elements of my life that have been missing for a good while now. Um. Now I got them back, and I'm just seeing. Which ones actually work for me uh, the best? Because I don't know. 
it's a tough thing to know without goofing around a little. You know what I mean? All right. So then, we're all looking at the flagpole back to our hypothetical situation, and I'm demanding that our students, you know, that their hard work be acknowledged and that their flag is viewable from a distance, right? Because I'm a good instructor like that. I really give a shit. Even though this is totally hypothetical and, like, I'm not an actual teacher, okay? I'm not an actual professor. I'm just trying to share my love of trigonometric functions with you because I was playing some pinball. And I should probably be playing pinball right now, but I'm so easily distracted by just about anything, especially a uh, nice tight ass, some big tits, and... Uh, shape bush uh <laughs> of course i'm talking about a bikini wearing uh you know oh what were we talking about oh hell trigonometric function right right <laughs> okay okay we're getting there. we're getting there all right class now i don't have a parrot on my shoulder now i have a flower on my lapel okay and I think this is going to be the real icing on the cake, if you will. Okay. In fact, this is so good, I don't even need that 90 degree rotation anymore. I can edit, transform, uh, rotate 90 degrees. Okay. And now we're back to normal. Okay, excellent. So then, class, we're talking about knowing the Knowing the angels. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just a yuck. I just I'm just a yuckster. I just like to. I we we have fun here. We have fun here at Penn State. I'm joking. I'm joking. This this is not Penn State. Here's my headshot. Here, take it. Pass it around. Knowing the angles. How about just knowing the angle? And once you can do that, not fuck it up, then maybe perhaps you will know more than one angle. Okay, class. Fantastic. So we're talking about the flagpole. And yes, the instructors, they're like, they're, they don't know the answer. Apparently, JJ knows all the answers because he's the one staring at the flagpole thinking about all the hard work and effort all, all those kids put into the flag and how nobody's ever going to notice. No one's ever going to know what a tight little community they have that looks out for each other, you know, and works together, cooperates, you know. No one's ever going to know because if you go, like, like, a quarter mile away from the school, like, you can't even see... The flag anymore it's like blended in with the horizon it's a really short i think it's like a five foot tall flagpole okay it's really short okay class <laughs> don't get distracted i know i want to play video games too but not yet we're doing a lesson okay so yeah okay let's let's just say that for for right now okay we don't really know for sure but these are the numbers that we're toying with, okay? All right, so um, the flagpole, it's like what? It's like five feet. One, two, three, four, five. Five feet. 
okay? So let's say the uh, and and five feet equals like we're just making this up, okay? But this is already determined to be true. We're assuming this is true. One quarter mile is the distance. Um. Uh. Um. Here, let's call this viewable. Flag. In parentheses, I'm putting pole because really that is the focus of the, uh, that's the thing we got to solve for is the flag pole. But really, it's all about the flag. Okay. The flag pole is merely just a an ends to a means, if you will. And by the way, I was talking with my friend Sarah about uh, the joys of flag poles, and I'm not talking about that uh, Harvey Dangerously or Dangerous Harvey Dangerous song, flag pole sitter or sita. No, I'm not talking about that song. I'm talking about. Uh, Run it up the flagpole and see, but no one looks. No, no one ever does. Ah, I'm not sick, but I'm not well, cause I'm in hell. Yeah, is it a sin to live this well? <sighs> anyway, um, she was telling me how she made like a a flagpole out of like that plastic uh, polyurethane piping that gets used for plumbing and, and junk like that and uh, sometimes gets used for coping on uh, skateboard uh, quarter pipes and half pipes and uh, and it's a very lightweight material very easy to carry and you know accumulate and not quite like metal which is kind of difficult you know for a lot of reasons but um and yeah you can make a flagpole out of that piping very easily like like a really 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 tall flagpole like i don't know i don't want to tell you how how tall how high it can go because then i might put limits to your imagination let's just say you could use that polyurethane piping to to make a flagpole to the sky and beyond okay people you ever been to outer space? No? Why don't you make a flagpole that goes there? That'd be interesting. All right. And plus, imagine the flag at the top. Imagine how well it would wave in weightlessness. Wow. This is turning into a pretty fun stream. I didn't plan on talking about any of this stuff. So, okay. Yeah. Viewable flagpole. And then in double parentheses, I'm just going to put sitter, or rather, sitter, just because that makes me smile. Got to close all your open parentheses. Okay. Anyway. Mm-hmm. So what? So what? So what? Who cares? Who cares about you? You boring lip Whoa now. We already know I got fired for putting dangerous ideas in the students' heads, and this is my last lesson. Let's try not to get kicked out for singing anti-Nowhere League songs that Metallica covers badly, lousily. Metallica Butchers. Yeah, okay. Where was I? Like everything they cover, musically speaking, anyways. Um, so yeah, we got a five foot flagpole. We're saying hypothetically you can see it from a quarter mile away. That keeps it viewable from a quarter mile. Alright, so let's say you know we we want to plan for the future, okay? Like we basically want a better situation than we got now, okay? 
but we don't want to be upgrading and needing a new flagpole like a year from now. Like, like, what if we go with like a 15 foot flagpole? You know, that'd be five. I'm gonna eyeball this. So let's say that like this is 15 feet way up here. Okay. And you're like, do 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 right? And you're thinking, oh wow, that's three times better than what we got. Like, oh, that means that you could see it from, like, what, three three quarters of a mile away? And for those of you that use uh, kilometers instead of miles, um, I apologize, because I'm not going to do kilometers. All right, anyways, it's just, I'm not good. I'll fuck up, and I, <laughs> it's going to be really embarrassing if I fuck up the lesson. So, um, where was I? Um... What I'm trying to say is no disrespect, okay? We're all brothers and sisters here on this crazy fucked up planet. Okay, uh, or something like that. Not literally. I mean, sometimes literally. But essentially, you know, until you're dating or married, you're basically all brothers and sisters. All right. Think of it that way. And then once, once you get married, it's not that weird. Because you're not really brothers and sisters, okay? Like, you're just sort of thinking that way in order to uh, have an affinity for the human race rather than being all weird, okay? All right. Virtual brothers and sisters and, and uh, I don't know what you would call a brother or sister that's a, um, um, a, a, a non-binary non gender, like non-binary. Because binary is like, you know, zero or one. So there's two choices in a binary choice. So I'm thinking a non-binary. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm a professor, but I'm still not quite sure about all this new terminology that we're using these days. All right. So I'd say if you have a, a non-binary conforming brother or sister or what have you, well, you know, just just try to pick the one that seems most appropriate. Maybe maybe uh, mash the two together. Say say say. Uh, brother, brother. Uh, sister. Well, that doesn't work. How about just sib? There you go. They're all a bunch of sibs. Short for siblings, right? They're not they're not simps, you know, whatever that means. I think it means like a sympathizer. I don't know. Um I know it's a derogatory thing to call someone a simp. And yeah, we're saying sibs. There you go. So yeah, you don't want to be getting a new flagpole because yeah, look, you're thinking to yourself, oh, that's three times better than what we got. But the bottom line is you can't even see the fucking thing from a mile away. All right. So basically, we've determined that uh, so that way we don't have to buy a new flagpole anytime soon. OK, we're just going to say that. Oh. Square bracket. Um, the goal. Objective is one mile. All right, and yes, I am using some like shorthand, you know, uh, vernacular descriptions. So if you just tuned in, I am Professor JJ, and uh, today we're talking about knowing the angles. That's what it used to say right there until I erased it. All right, and uh, we're trying to calculate this flagpole situation, this hypothetical 
you know, flagpole situation where uh, this awesome school that Professor JJ works at um, has some pretty awesome students that made a flag, right, like a community-made, you know, flag for the school, you know, that goes right up there with the nation's flag and the state's flag, right? It's all hypothetical, virtual, but... I like this hypothetical because it's a fun thing. I, I like it to imagine living in a tight community with awesome people that I'm proud of. And I, I like to, to do my best for the community. It's a fun little fantasy. Um, so where was I? We're going to try to raise the, uh, the viewable distance uh, value, the variable that represents the viewable distance that one can be from the flag at the top of the flagpole almost. All right, and uh, we're trying to raise that from a quarter mile to one mile. So, and naturally, oh, well, gee, Professor JJ, don't you know multiplication? Because like five times four would do it. Yeah, because we've got a five and that's one fourth. So naturally, and you see 15, it's three times five, right? There's the three, and there's the four. Yeah, so naturally, yes, the next uh, flagpole I draw is going to be 20 feet. Okay, and uh, you're going to say, uh, what does any of this prove, JJ? Like, how is this trigonometry? Why are people watching this? What is your? What are you getting at here? I'm like, look, okay, it's, <laughs> it's my fucking video it's my fantasy just play along and have some faith that you might learn something about trigonometric functions today all right because you know i'll be embarrassed if i don't teach you anything about trigonometry and i don't like to be embarrassed so there you go and yeah so uh we got the viewable flag raising so we've already determined with basic arithmetic that it's going to be 20 feet okay so uh, the goal, yeah, one mile. All right, where do we go from here, Jay? How are we? Well, you know, this whole this whole exercise really doesn't have anything to do with the flagpole, you know, height, and like that. That's more like the origin story for the real problem that we're gonna talk about. Okay, and uh, so now we can go ahead. Now that we've explained it all, we can clear the board. And now you understand why this flagpole, or let's say that it's like, you know, two years later and the school decided to rehire Professor JJ, okay? So now, now they decided to retire, uh, or yeah, a different, they retired a different instructor, different professor, and they really needed Professor JJ. So now he gets to be on for two terms. which would be con considered uh, school years. So, you know, with a summer break in the middle. Two terms, that's right. You got your fall and your spring terms, and like, uh, those are like subterms, all right? And yeah, so Professor JJ is getting real cocky. Guaranteed employment. You know, Professor JJ, he's like, getting his act back together. He's got like a car that, that's not broken, and has insurance, and he's like got a, got a steady uh, date. He's got somebody that he dates like practically every day, practically in a relationship now because he's like, you know, capable and uh, got a good doctor. He's got all of his medications straightened out. So like he's not, it's not all random and shit. He's got like a consistent behavior and personality. He's like dependable. At least when he says he's going to be dependable, he's dependable. And when he says he's not going to be dependable or not available, then he's not. Okay. So at least he knows, you know, these things. So yeah, naturally, Professor JJ is getting real cocky, getting laid, getting drugs, able to get around town. And still has extra money for whatever. Going to the arcade, playing some pinball. 
going to a concert, seeing a band, going to the bar and watching a game, getting drunk. Uh-huh. So, naturally, Professor JJ, one of his favorite things to do during, like, the, the lunch period, right? Like, you got your... Uh, got your picnic table right there. Okay. And you got your... Uh, And you got your benches. And uh, naturally, Naturally, you got Professor JJ sitting on the very edge of the fucking bench. He's on the edge of his seat, all right, at lunch. Practically, like, every day, you know, his cafeteria tray over here with the food. You know, he's got his, like, beverage right there with the straw sticking out, you know. And you got, like, the, his plate that, that circled with, like, the knickknacks on it. Yeah, naturally... Just letting his lunch sit there because uh, he's too busy looking at the awesome flagpole like that he helped get installed that awesome fucking 20 foot flagpole this this pen's getting kind of dry what we can do about that okay You know, if, if you're not enjoying this, just think of it as ASMR, okay? Drawing. My name is Simon, and I like to make drawings. Story of my motherfucking life. This is why I don't care much for perishable items. Because sometimes I take long hiatuses from the things I love the most. Sometimes I have to. Are you fucking kidding me? All right, this one's just about to kick the bucket too, but at least I think we got the uh, the flagpole basically represented, okay? And of course we got like, you know, we got the uh, the stripes and the 
stars. Okay, we got the uh, we got the other one with like the lines. And a star. In case you don't know, that's me trying to make an Arizona flag, kind of. Okay. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we got the nation at the top, the state, and then we got our special community flag. That's probably only about halfway up the even flag. Oh, that's why JJ sits so close at lunch. Because, you know, there's an order. Everything has like an order of operations, uh, or rather a hierarchy, if you will. Some people use the analogy, the metaphor, uh, which is based in reality. Sometimes people refer to this as a totem pole. You know, who's at the top of the totem pole? It's in reference to a uh, traditional... Um, I'm trying to think of the right word for a... Uh, like, not a sculpture, not a monolith. Um... It's basically like artwork, but it has a special significance, like in reality, all right? So it's not just like, you know, a metaphorical, you know, sculptor's, you know, thought-provoking thing, kind of like <laughs> what's been in front of the downtown Tucson Public Library for years. It's like, people are like, what is that big red thing? Oh, that's like some abstract uh, modern sculptor art. Yeah, but what is it? Well, it's art. Well, of course, but I can see there's like benches, okay, made out of that art. Okay, so the only thing I can tell for certain is that that thing has a, it has a bench. But what's all the rest of it? Is, what is, uh, what is it? It's about like a few hundred thousand dollars to make, I think. Okay, that's what it is. And uh, some people argued when I was a child. When I was a boy, they argued that that thing shouldn't be made. That they should instead make uh, make some housing for the homeless. Take the money that they're spending on this uh, modern art and put it where the need is. I say, uh, can't we do both? Like the world needs art and the world needs, you know, housing for, for people. Like, and food for people. And more art and um shit like that so yeah how about we instead of uh, being so binary right and either this or that how about we try to be trinary or perhaps even like you know octal or maybe even like i don't know decimal hexadecimal um base 64 Let's try to be a little more uh, poly. Little, like, so let's try to have our cake and eat it too. All right. So we got our tall flagpole. We got our three flags. And, I, and, and we got our community flag, which basically has like a bunch of people. You know. And they look like stick figures because, you know, it's from a distance. Right? And they're all just sort of, you know, holding hands. You know, some of them even have long hair, like Zot the Avenger. Okay. <laughs> all right. And there you go. There's our happy little awesome community flag right underneath the nation and the state. That's where we people actually are in reality. You know, back in the day, there probably would have been a, a God flag 
you know, with a big bloody Jesus on a cross, you know, a crown of thorns. No, I'm just kidding. There were never flags like that in reality. No, that was the kind of thing you kind of had to imagine. Because that's the totem pole. Or that's the way it was. Anyhow, so yeah, JJ, Professor JJ just loves to stare at the community flagpole. I'm trying to make the flagpole a little darker because, you know, it's like, hello. That's like what Jay actually accomplished. He didn't accomplish anything with the flags other than to get them seen better with a better flagpole. One that's about 20 feet tall, okay? So as I was saying, Professor JJ, he likes to, you know, just kind of like ignore his lunch and stare at the, the awesome community effort and fantasize about his awesome, about how, what he would be doing in his awesome community if he wasn't like busy being a professor, right? During lunch, he's like, yeah, man, I tell you what, if I didn't have this job that was like totally fixing my broken life, now I got my medication, I got my, my, my uh, steady partner, I got my wheels, I uh, got a nice place to live that's close to the school, I still got money left over to live on, like, this is a great job, this is exactly what I needed to get my life back in order, but really, I'd rather just be out in the community, you know, living it up with my people. Why, right now, as he stares at the community flag, he's just like, right now, I could be, like, jamming with my band, you know? And, of course, Professor JJ doesn't have a band. That's how deep in fantasy he is. He's thinking, like, you know, oh, man, I'd get the band back together, <laughs> like, in a heartbeat. And he's like, yeah, if I wasn't if I wasn't doing this professor gig right now, I'd totally be, you know, jamming. He'd be uh, rehearsing right now, getting ready for our next big tour, global tour. And uh, aside from that, actually, that's probably the only thing. <laughs> if he's going to fantasize about the community, he's going to fantasize about rocking out for the community. Okay. Um, so, uh, naturally, you know, people sometimes, like, snap smartphone pictures of the professor, share them on the social media. So, naturally, uh, you know, JJ's partner, you know, sees this on the socials, decides to, you know, come hang out. Because, you know, there's like a little fence, you know, naturally, because it's a school, and they want to protect the, uh, the children or not necessarily children, but the youth. They want to protect the youth. All right. So we got this, like, this fence right here. It's like chain link fence or whatever. Okay. Right. And naturally, um, you know, Professor JJ's, you know, awesome uh, partner, uh, that has a nice, you know, slender face and an awesome hairdo that's like shaved on the side. All right. Cute little button nose. Nice little smirk. And, uh, Awesome little smartphone. So yeah, there, there's some good distance between the two, you know, because technically it's there's the fence and the picnic table's probably like, you know, 30 feet away from the fence. So, you know, just during lunch break, Professor JJ's just like so into the flag and, and the community fantasy he's having about his band that uh, he doesn't even notice when his partner walks up and says, Hey, Professor JJ, what are you doing? And he's like, who goes there? Oh my God, it's you, honey bunny. Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, it's so good to see you. I'd love to come up and give you a big hug and a kiss on the cheek, but uh, 
you know, try not to do that kind of affection crap uh, publicly in front of the students because it's, uh, it's just distracting and none of their business, really. So what are you doing here, love? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I was just, uh, you know, walking back to the place and uh, I was thinking it would be nice to say hi. And it is. You look great today, Professor JJ. Oh, I know, right? My hair is totally, like, on point. Thanks for noticing. Of course, of course. But I'm just, I can't help but notice how much time you spend every day just, like, looking at this flagpole. Like, what's that all about? Can't you find something more productive to do with your break, your lunch break? Like, shouldn't you eat all that food on your tray? Like, aren't you hungry? What's wrong with you? Oh, I'm glad you're concerned. That shows that you care. But there's no need to worry. Trust me, I'm I'm not hungry. I, I get plenty of calories. I have it all figured out and calculated. I, don't worry, okay? I take my vitamins, I take my supplements, I take my calories, and I, I'm, I'm well balanced. Don't worry about my rotting, wasted food on the tray. Really, that's just there so I can fit in. Because everybody else gets food at lunchtime on their trays, and if I didn't do that, that would be really weird. But, you know, to be quite honest, the cafeteria food here, it, it kind of sucks donkey balls. So, that's what's up with that. And yeah, the flagpole, that's just merely a manifestation of my desire to get the band back together and continue touring, but this time with a global tour instead of just a national tour. Or tours, uh, plural. And uh, that's all that that is, honey. And I know I can't really do it because this gig, this teaching gig is just so important. I really got to keep my shit together. I mean, they fired me not too long ago. I'm lucky that one fucker retired because without that empty spot, you know, they never would have took me back. But the students, they love my ass. Probably because of the flagpole. And, uh, well, that and because, uh, you know, I'm probably like the only supportive teacher on this campus. Like, these teachers are total dicks and assholes, man. They like, they're always telling the students they need to try harder and that they're, they're, they're doing good, but that they're not quite A grade material yet. And then like, there's other things that they say. They're, they're not very supportive at all. So yeah, Professor JJ got the flagpole. And he actually says things like, great effort, great job, fantastic, goddamn amazing. I'm so proud of you kids, shit like that, you know. So naturally, he's popular. Um, being the only supporter and non-hater, it seems, uh, in, the, in the teacher uh, category. Um, so, uh, so, yeah. You know, naturally, I got to keep this job, but yeah, maybe, just maybe, someday, you know, honey bunny, we'll, uh, we'll get the band back together, you know, and it'll be really great, and my country, and my, my, my nation, and my state, they'll be proud of me, and my community as well, because, like, any, any band, any artist that goes on tour globally, representing where they come from is like naturally they're supported back home you know because they're practically a diplomat a musical diplomat if you will and it's fucking awesome no wonder professor jj just does that all lunch and so uh partner's all like well i gotta take off but um anyway professor jj I you, you, um, that's a great hairdo. Yes, your hair is on point in the air, and that's a great big smile you got on your face, which is really cute as well. And, uh, but, you know, I was just wondering, um, you're, you're like a math guy, right? That's what they hired. Well, technically, I'm the trigonometry guy, okay? Like, we have a math instructor here. That take, teaches, you know, the uh, the arithmetic, the pre-algebra, the algebra, you know, even calculus, 
you know, to the seniors, the smarter mathletes, if you will. Not math geeks, mathletes, okay? So, yeah, I'm just their trig guy. Um, you know, I, I got a real hard on for Pythagorean, Pythagorean theorems, all right? Yeah, I'm like Alice Cooper that way. I love the dead. <laughs> I'm just joking. You, oh, your sense of humor is just so, so JJ. I love that about you, Jay. Oh, yeah, right? So, uh, but why? Why are you asking me about my job when I'm trying to fantasize about my band? It doesn't exist. Oh, well, because I noticed that there's a shadow that's being cast by a combination of the sun and the flagpole. Wait, what the fuck are you talking about, bitch? What, I, 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 speak English, okay? You sound like gobba 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 gobba. Please, uh, reiterate that one more time, a little slower. All right, I got brain damage, okay? Appreciate it. Oh, oh, I forgot. Please forgive me. I thought you were normal for a second. Sorry, honey. Um, here, let me, let me try to uh, illustrate things. Okay, babe? It'll make a lot more sense then. Okay, as I was saying, there's like a sun in the sky. And like a... Uh, the sun, it's, it's sending out waves of radiation that manifests in the form of heat and light, okay? So that, that big fireball in the sky, yeah, it's casting uh, some, some light in our direction. And it just so happens that that light, all right, it's causing a bit of a, a shadow effect, you know? And like, as you can see, the shadow that's being casted is like in, in that direction. And it shows up as kind of like a faint line, like in that, that direction. Can't really see it because it's at the edge of the drawing. Okay. But yeah, this, this, this shadow right here, I'm going to color it in a little extra dark so you know it's a shadow. Okay. And uh, I'm going to make the line on the flagpole a little more well-defined. So that way you don't, like, think it's blending in with the shadow. Okay? So, yeah, there's our shadow that our significant other is, like, that our date, that our, that our, our, our good, our good friend, our, um, our fuck buddy, uh, you know, that hot person is talking about, okay? So, uh, yeah, the Professor JJ is now starting to realize the context. Oh, yeah, sun plus pole equals shadow. Oh, okay, I get it. So what's the point? Oh, what, what about the shadow? Well, I just noticed it's a total triangle, man. Like, you know, what's up with that? Like, what kind of triangle is that? Seriously. You want me to tell you about the triangle shadow? Seriously? Well, I just figure you're one of the few people that could. And I actually would believe you, because you're, you're, you're the shit and you don't lie to me. So, uh... You know, if you, if you can't do that, I guess I'll just go back to playing with my smartphone that I have in my hand here. There's probably like a, an app that could tell me what I want to know if, if you're too busy daydreaming. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'll tell you. It'll take me two seconds because that's just what I do. Okay. So now that we've got our painting... Let's, let's go over to uh, the area. Uh, we'll make a nice, well-defined work area here. And I'm going to leave the painting there because uh, I'm pretty proud of it. Yeah, and I, I want to take a picture after this, after this video is done. So, yeah, this is our... Um, this is our well-defined work area. Okay.
And uh, so we're going to make like a little representation. Okay, this is our flagpole right here. This is our 20 footer. Okay. And now the uh, shadow. Okay, there's the sun right there. Let's just continue to pretend that the, the light that's being casted is hitting. You know, this is obviously further back. Like this flagpole over here, you know, it's right up front and in our face. And it's 20 feet. So naturally, this little one that's 20 feet, it's further away. Okay? Sorry, I gotta fix that real quick. That's bothering me. Take just a second, just a second. Okay, that's good. Now then, so... Naturally, you can see that it's further back, off further into the horizon. Okay. So, what else? What else? Well, okay, so the sunlight is shining down on this totally separate, separate flagpole that doesn't currently even have a flag. All right? Um, it's like just being unutilized. But still, the light catches it, right? And so it, it casts a shadow in, that manifests in the form of a of what appears to be just like a straight line, right? That's kind of what it looks like to the untrained eye. But naturally, you know, this brilliant mind over here with the smartphone um, uh, pointed out that actually this supposed uh, straight line that kind of goes off into the distance like that, right? It's actually not so much a straight line as it is kind of more like a, a triangle because like of the way currently the, the way that the sun is hitting it, okay, with its light and its rays and its warmth and its heat. Okay. Yeah. So uh, now that we are thinking like like in oh, thinking like in reality and junk, right? There we go. So there is our shadow. Cool. So, we've been challenged to, to tell about the shadow, okay? What can we possibly say about this thing? Well, first of all, let's make a variable that represents it, okay? So, uh, right away, we can see that it's kind of, uh, it's basically got a right angle, okay? I don't know if you can tell that, but um, now you can. How do we know? Just look at it. See that 90-degree angle up in the left bottom corner? 
That's a 90 degree angle, therefore it's a right triangle. Okay? So, we have this here right angle. Mm -hmm. Yes. What makes it a right angle? Well, it's not a wrong angle, that's for sure. Uh, uh, uh. I don't remember. 90. I'm going to make this little circle. Because that little circle is supposed to represent degrees. Now, bear in mind, I, it doesn't matter if you use Celsius or Fahrenheit for temperature, uh, you know, uh, measuring and description system. But they both use the degrees symbol in their terminology. Okay? So that is kind of a universally known way of notating uh, degrees which is cool because like here I'm going to do something real quick okay kind of needs to be done mm -hmm. so yeah that little circle right there represents degrees so um, oh and yeah that's what makes it a right double quote <laughs> a right angle okay air quotes <laughs> it's not spelt with a w it's not like what i'm doing with the marker i'm not not writing not a it's it literally though it is kind of a written angle I, I just wrote it. But no, we're talking about the so-called right angel. Oops. We're not talking about angels. Silly me. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's a stupid joke. I just can't get enough of it, though. I think it's funny. Because angels are preposterous. And some people talk about them like they have to be real. Like, it's hilarious. It's like, uh, wow. What can I take to make me, uh, see what you're seeing? Okay, because I'm, 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 like, open to all kinds of paranormal phenomenon in the world. Like, you know, maybe this angel that you're seeing, maybe it's more like, uh, an anomaly in the uh, animal kingdom. Maybe it's kind of like a combination of a bald eagle and uh, an orangutan. Chimpanzee? Kind of like a harpy. I think. Wouldn't that be like a, like, uh, out of like a, I don't know, like a Tolkien book or something? JR? I mean, like, some kind of like medieval fantasy crap, like with dragons. You know, and orcs and trolls. You're going to have, like, your griffins and your harpies. Kind of like a man bird. Um, if you're seeing angels, maybe that's what you're seeing. Some kind of, like, freaky-ass man bird, okay? There ain't no angels. Ain't no demons. No. It's, it's, uh, but if you talk about them, I'll, I'll understand your metaphor. 
Just please don't try to talk literal about that kind of crap unless you're making a joke or something. You might just confuse me. Okay, so back to our sh our shadow, um, you know, equation here. Professor JJ, man of science. Yes, I give full authorization to be referred to as a man. Preferably a macho man. Ooh, yeah! Snap into a Slim Jim. But, you know, a man at the very least. Macho at the most. Alright. So, um, we've got our, our 90 degrees. So that means uh, if we've got variables A... And uh, variables B, and variables C, which oftentimes are referred to as variables X, Y, and Z. Solve for X. Why am I using A, B, and C instead of X, Y, and Z? A little odd, a little different. In, in retrospect, in hindsight, like five seconds into the future, I'm thinking I probably should have used X, Y, and Z. But I've already written A, B, and C, so let's continue. All right, so we know that B right, equals 90 degrees because a right angle is just one of those shapes in nature that is undeniable. It's like, a, it's literally like, like a macho man flexing his muscle, like uh, bending his elbow, just like that, like. Like if you overflex, that's no longer a right angle. Hell no. But if you do like that, all of a sudden, back to the right angle. You know, it's like that. That's a right angle. That, not so much about oh apparently that's as wide as apparently my thumb and my index finger they don't like go any more than that so when i stretch them out to their furthest uh, okay that's a little bit instead of 90 degrees that was more like 91 92 degrees okay like seriously i can just barely overextend that shape to make it not so right angle like okay um i think i lost my dry erase marker cap around here i need to find it because this thing is going to dry out and then i won't have any dry erase markers which is a terrible situation for a professor to find oneself in whether you're a real professor or a fake one like me. <laughs> um, I've never actually been an instructor or a professor. Like, never. I mean, there was this one time when I got to teach, like, an HTML class um, at a university computer lab, mind you. Um... You know, it was like an Access Tucson, learn to make a website, uh, et cetera. Um, that makes sense. I put it in the uh, marker cup so I wouldn't lose it. So logical. All right. Sometimes I forget how logical I am. <laughs> All right. So basically, we've established our scenario okay you know it has its whole origin story all right here we go and what pray tell is the origin story well you all know i mean i've only been sitting here telling the story for like how long now like forever in a day right and what's the uh, the story about? About community. 
it's, uh, it's about flags. It's about daydreaming. It's about having problems. Life problems that lead to social problems that usually nobody can fix for you. Hence why Professor JJ got the job, you know, as a professor, because, you know, his life was a mess and uh, had no wheels, had, had no medication coming in. He just had his leftovers, you know, but weren't keeping him balanced. Uh-oh. Lost the camera. Okay. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, that was our scenario, and the community flag, that, and he, he got fired, and now he's happy to have his job back. You see, um, what, what am I, what, what, okay, I'm going to have a cigarette, by the way. Um, but while I'm uh, making the cigarette, and like, while we're taking this break, this much needed break, uh, you know, from the problem, because we're going to solve the problem, believe you me. I want to impress that that chick right there, the hot chick with the cell phone, the smartphone. Yeah, we're totally going to get this problem right, and she's going to be totally, like, impressed with all the fine uh, details. Like, and when I say fine, I mean, like, the granularity. Like, it'll be very transparent what's going on with this, uh, this whole triangle situation. Trust me, it's going gonna, it's gonna to rock her fucking world gonna be like this guy is such a nerd he's like a genius and this he's not even the math instructor he's just like uh he's just the trig guy right there's such a thing sorry i haven't used this tripod in a while i'm kind of like kind of acting like a noob i'll stop acting like a noob now because i really need to get on with this smoke break right mm-hmm and so, motherfucker, there you go. <laughs> Sorry, class. But um, I digress. Um, what, what was that about now? We're doing what with the what and the who now? What? What's going on? What? Oh, right. Um, you know, a lot of people say they don't like math. Because the, the word problems are stupid, right? You know? They're, they're always, like, stupid, like, you know, questions like, oh, I don't know, if two trains leave from the train station, you know, going in different directions, but ultimately they're going to meet at this one intersection, you know, and uh, they're going to do it at this time, then, like, how fast are they going, first of all, okay? <laughs> right? And a lot of people think that those kinds of problems are stupid. I've heard th I've heard it said before. Okay? I'm not making this shit up, people. Okay? Some people think that word pr problems are, like, unrelatable and, you know, bullshit uh, sen hypothetical scenarios. You know? So, um, what about it? <laughs> well, huh, hello? My hypothetical scenario is an awesome story. And if you don't care about it, then you are not an empathetic person. Then you have no sympathy for other people. And also, you probably have uh, an attention disorder uh, in regards to having a deficit or not enough of it. Because uh, if you were paying attention, you would totally be like sitting like JJ, Professor JJ on his bench. He's sitting on the edge of his fucking seat because he's so into it. All right? So if you have empathy, all right, for other people and if you have the ability to focus and pay attention, well, you should be on the edge of your seat. Just wondering what Professor JJ is going to pull out his ass with regards to trigonometry, trigonometric functions and uh, you know, Ultimately, what's the smartphone chick going to think, huh? Am I right? Isn't that what it boils down to, peacocking? 
It's like Professor JJ may have his hair in the air. All right, but technically that's not what's making him peacock, if you will. No, he's he's fanning out his feathers in his mind, getting ready to throw down with regards to the uh, the A, B, and C variables that we got to solve for. Okay. Um, you know, what do we know about um, obtuse angles? And what do we know about acute angles? Okay. Well, I'm going to tell you what I know about them. All right. Obtuse angles tend to have higher values. You know, like uh, from like uh, 0 to 180 degrees in a positive integer number system. You know, um, like... I suppose you can use decimal points if you want, if you want to be more specific, you know, or maybe fractions. All right, but in this example, I'm going to say that we're only using integers, okay? No decimal points. So we only have like 180 possible values that represent the, the, the obtainable angles, you know, and technically it's not even 180 because it's going to be more like uh, 178. Because like the other angles have to have at least one degree in order for it to be a, a legal triangle shape. You know, like you can't have a zero, like you can't have a straight line and call it a triangle, okay? Because that 180 degree straight line is like, that's bullshit, man. So even if it's technically a triangle, like, it's not. It's a straight line. Okay? Open your fucking eyes. And I digress. So, yes. If you've got a right angle that takes up already... um, What was I saying? Was I saying 90 degrees? Do I mean 45? What do you think? No. I mean 90. Alright? How do I know this? Well, think about a circle. We all love, like, figure skating, skateboarding, uh, snowboarding, uh, BMX, uh, bicycling, etc. Rollerblading, uh, you know, razor scootering, heeling. Those are like the rollerblades, but with only one wheel on the heel. Anyhow, we all love our action sports. Even the artistic ones, like figure skating, okay? So, uh, we know what a 180 is, and we know what a 360 is, right? So, like, a 180 is, like, uh, kind of when you turn around and you're going fakey, kind of going backwards, okay? And, uh, uh, a 360 is when you do, like, a one complete spin, one complete circle, okay? And you're, you're facing the same direction... As when you started the spin so from start to finish you know you're facing the same direction that is a full spin otherwise known as a 360 and uh, yeah you cut it in half so you're facing the other direction that's a 180 and if you cut that in half that's 90 so we know that a right angle which represents like one-fourth of a circle I spin a 360, one-fourth of 360 is 90. So, yeah, I wasn't thinking of 45. That would not be a right triangle. That would be a little bit too acute. Okay? Because, uh, like I was saying, the acute, the acute angles tend to have lower numbers, whereas the obtuse angles tend to have higher values. Okay? Just saying... The distance from zero to that value tends to get higher the more obtuse. That, that's a bigger number. So, okay. So that means that the in this in this example, I know we're taking a break. I'm almost ready to start my break. But you know, in this example triangle right here, okay. We know that value v is 90. All right, and uh, but we also have Two other angles, and uh, they're going to be uh, somewhere in the middle between zero and ninety, etc., etc. You know, this one um, off 
you know, to the tip right there, that's more of an acute angle, if you will. So that means the, the, the value C is more of like an acute angle, whereas uh, value A, it's, a, it's still kind of acute. You know, because we're dealing with a B being a, a right angle. Okay, so they're both pretty fucking acute in terms of, like, the their shape. But, okay, but it's the more obtuse. Like, when you compare value A to value C, yes, they're both acute angles, but A is considered more obtuse than C. I can gauge this just by looking at it, all right? That's why trigonometry is fucking awesome, is because when you get good at it, you can eyeball shit. And like, your, your, lev your level of accuracy, your, your, the granularity, your definition, you know, you're gonna be pretty goddamn accurate at eyeballing angles if you just spend a little bit of time studying trigonometry and the trigonometric functions that uh, Pythagorean and his secret society of thinkers invented and uh, popularized, if you will. Okay? And I think that's a really neat skill to have, you know, the ability to eyeball angles with a fine uh, degree of accuracy, because uh, there are a lot of angles in the world. And quite often, you know, all a person can do is just scratch their head and be confused. Like, look at that. Oh, my God. I just made a, a triangle. How did I do that? I made a triangle out of my tobacco pile. There. I had to get rid of that. That was a little too weird. You know what I mean? Just like, I, I think I subconsciously did that. I'm just thinking, talking about triangles. Next thing you know, I'm making triangle. That's weird. Kind of cool, though. I don't mind. I like it. I just wasn't aware I was doing that. <laughs> Maybe it's just a coincidence, right? Maybe. But it was a definite triangle. It, it, was, it was practically an equilateral triangle. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you don't know, an equilateral triangle, all right, is the kind where all, all three sides, okay, As I was saying, uh, with an equilateral triangle, all three sides, all three angles are going to have the same uh, value uh, for the uh, degree representation. So uh, if you take 180 and you divide it by 3, that will be the, the value of the three points in an equilateral triangle. And what, pray tell, is that value? Because, you know, 180 divided by 3 is a constant. Like, doesn't really vary. So what is it? I don't know. You do the math. You got to do something. Okay. Was that, was that kind of, like, cocky? Was that, or was that just uh, a mean asshole thing to say? You do something. Like, is it paying attention? To this whole fucking thing isn't like enough <laughs> like i'm the one doing all the work it's pretty that's pretty rude right yeah i think so too let's take this a uh, uh, moment during our break to, to give ourselves a pat on the back you for being a good student or um you know What's another uh, pupil? Uh, trying to think of something more casual. 
Thank you for being a good attendant, attendee. Thank you for being a good guest in my studio here and paying attention. And I'm patting myself on the back for telling a good story about this professor guy. I think it's a good story. I think it's a happy story, but you know, it's not too happy. It's not like sappy happy. It's like, you know, it's 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 basically a good story cuz it's uh, relatable in reality and uh it seems to be uh you know, it seems to be good things are happening. It seems to be a positive direction like for everyone involved in this story. Everyone. Okay? But there's still actual problems, so it's not like a perfect utopia or anything. It's not sappy happy. It's not goddamn, like, Disneyland or whatever the fuck. You know, there's still real problems, you know, life problems. But, you know, they're being overcome, like, left and right. It's like one after the other, you know, because, like, that's just the way. That's what it's like when you have a really good job, otherwise known as a career. It's kind of like all your life problems just start disappearing. Whether you're actually focused on solving them or not. Like, you know, when, when, you, when you don't have a career, sometimes you got to think long and hard about your life problems. Sometimes you have to look for uh, outside resources. Sometimes you got to ask around. And sometimes you got to get advice that points you in a direction you know, that'll help you get your life problems solved. Because, like, you know, without a career, without boatloads of money, your life problems are probably going to remain life problems until the day you die. So... <laughs> <sighs> then you'll have no more life problems after that. Then you'll only have death problems. Okay? Seriously. True talk. Um... So I digress. Nice happy story. And there's not going to be a, a, a spoiler alert. There's not going to be some radical t plot twist, you know, where everything heads south in a, in a downward spiral of chaos. No, nothing. It's all basically just, you know, going to, you know, it's it's all gradually raising, you know, all the good stuff is on a nice steady, you know, line graph. And it, it's just going to keep getting better. It's not going to plateau. I mean, this is the part of the story where it's basically plateauing. But it's not a real plateau because it's only a lunch break. All right. In the span of time from, you know, birth to death, like a lunch break is like an infinitesimal amount of time that literally could never represent a plateau. Even if everything for that lunch break remained constant, you know, it n neither was progressing nor degressing in terms of, you know, good and bad shit, okay? It's just like, uh, it, it can't be a plateau. Hell, it's pro it probably wouldn't even uh, represent one point of value, you know? Like, what kind of plateau is that? No, this story, it's all gradually getting better for Professor JJ, for uh, his his Siggy, for his, uh, and I don't mean cigarette, I mean significant other, for his, uh, for his school, um, for his students, for their parents, for the community. It's, everything's just getting better. So, it's a great story. And that's why uh, I'm telling it is because uh, I've heard so many. In fact, I would say the majority, I'd say that basically 100% of the time when people open their mouths and talk about word problems with regards to math books, math lessons, math classes, you know, uh, instructions, lectures, what have you, classes. Um, when people talk about, like, word problems outside of class, 
they only have one thing to say. 100% of the time, they're saying, oh, yeah, those word problems are so feeble. Oh, my God. They're like, it's like they're all written by a basic bitch or a group of basic bitches. You know, like, these word problems, they got no depth. You know, they got no relation to reality whatsoever. Like, who lives like the people in these word problems? So maybe for the first time ever, I've I've provided a proper word program, word problems. I almost said program. <laughs> Sorry, I am a computer programmer. Okay, otherwise known as a developer or a coder or a hacker. But no, this is actually a a well thought out word problem. Maybe the first one in human history. Okay. So, fight that haters. Okay. And, uh, you know, quite frankly, I didn't plan on making such a long video. We're already uh, at 2 hours 20 minutes. I'm going to stop, all right, and put out my cigarette and uh, upload this. And uh, the final installation will be what we determine about um, our, our shadow angle from the flagpole. It's casting the shadow angle in conjunction with the sunlight. And, uh, yeah, final installation will be in just a little bit, and uh, you'll get your answers. All right, thank you, class. Be good.